So hey guys, so yeah, we're playing the Falcons this Thursday night. Well, this upcoming Thursday, you know what I mean? So I decided to make this video this mon mid Monday afternoon. So we got the Atlanta Falcons at our place. Man, last year that's not really my personality. I was just upset because I thought we re I thought we just quit. We didn't really even try, so that's why I was so upset in my last video. So you should know that's not really me. That was just me in a really emotional state. So, this is a rivalry game, and the only thing I would have to say is that our rivalry games that we had with Carolina was a close game. So, if we could just stay in the game, we'll have a chance to win. Especially the Falcons put, played like they did against the Redskins. We could beat them. Also, we've won six of our last nine meetings against these guys. I know they swept us last year, so that, that needs to be in our mind that we need to take care of business and beat them. Yeah, this is the Super Bowl champion shirt from, from our Super Bowl six years ago. So, I don't know how we're going to stop Julio Jones. <laughs> can Bur Alton Brox can stop Burrow? Can he stop him? I doubt it. If Is Keenan Lewis playing? If he is, maybe we could double cover him. But Julio is going to get his yards because he's a top five receiver. We really need to put an emphasis on stopping Devontae Freeman because he's a really good running back. So now they're very dangerous because now Matt Ryan doesn't throw all day. He can they, he can just give it to a running back. So, you know how Matt Ryan threw two picks. We gotta get some pressure on this boy. We can we need to force Matt Ryan in a turnover. That's the only way we're gonna beat these guys. Let's be real, man. The Atlanta Falcons are a better team than us right now. Their their record and their adversity winning through their adversity like responding to adversity. It, there's like a big difference in us and them. As like you saw what they did last week. They came back and won that game. They came back and beat the Giants. Who else did they come back against? The the Eagles. Oh, I don't even remember Falcons fans. Who else did y'all came look came back against? You blew out the Texans. That doesn't count. So you know what I mean. I think three or four, three out of the five games you guys have came back and beaten your opponents. That's all I'm gonna say. So they know how to respond to adversity. This team has shown me one time that, how they respond to adversity. And that was against the Cowboys, who got blown out by the Patriots. So the Cowboys are like the lion. Uh, the Cowboys are just in a mess. But they'll get. They'll be good when they uh, get their quarterback and best wide receiver back. We have pretty much everybody healthy. We don't have any. Our coach isn't isn't giving us to isn't calling good enough plays to get our playmakers involved. Who do we have besides Brandon Cooks and Snead? Mark Ingram has been a like a like a lost soul. We don't use this. This is baffles my mind. Why don't we use C.J. Spiller like? Is there a reason? Did Sean Payton, like, was he on Bourbon Street too much? Like, I swear, he must have been on Bourbon Street for, like, 10 hours after the game, dude. Because he didn't think about using C.J. Spiller. He's like, should I use C.J. Spiller against the uh, the Eagles? No, no. I'll use Mark Ingram. Why aren't we, using our, why aren't we utilizing our weapons? It's a game of strategy. Strategy. Why, don't, aren't, why, aren't we, why, why aren't we being, like, why aren't we being, like, a tactician? Okay? That's how you win these type of games. You look at good coaches, Jim Harbaugh, Bill Belichick. Uh, who else? I know. He, I know he has a, like a history, like a cheating pass, all that nonsense. But he's he's still a good coach. Who else is a good coach? Oh, Mike McCarthy for the Green Bay Packers. Um, you get what I'm, you get. What I'm, you get what I'm saying, man. Good coaches know how to strategize well. And uh, who's that guy? Mike Tomlin for the Pittsburgh Steelers and John Harbaugh for the Ravens. And there's more I could list, but I'm just telling, trying to tell you. We need to improve our play calling drastically to win this game, man. Luckily, we have this one thing. I think we have advantage over the Falcons, and this might be, oh, man. This might be like, you might think, oh, this is ridiculous. We always seem to play good at our house on a primetime game. Even though our, like, remember when we used to, like, blow out teams at our house and it was, like, guaranteed for a win? Those, those days uh, have changed. I don't think we're going to go back those days, but I understand. There's something special, as we saw last time we were at home at prime time. Special things happen, so it might be scripted, but, man, the defense for the Falcons, they're much improved. Our defense has stopped with the penalties. My God, I mean, how many times is Brandon Browner going to get called for a penalty on uh, on Julio Jones if he's, if he's defending him? I guarantee it. Flag. Oh, Brandon Browner was holding, or it was a pass interference against Brandon Browner, because he was holding Julio Jones, or he interfered with Julio Jones catching the ball. 
Okay, that can't happen. You gotta get. To, you gotta make. Let Julio Jones get his. Shut down the other wide receivers. Hinkerson or whatever his name is. Freeman, my God, he he's had two games where he's looked like a total stud, and then two games where he's just looked like trap. Uh, he's looked average. Okay. Our O line needs to protect Drew. Marquise Colson and William Sneed can't be the only players that get involved in offense. Mark Ingram needs to step up. We need to use all three of racks. If we actually listen, if John Payton actually listened to my videos, we'd actually win games, but he doesn't. Oh well. We gotta get someone like EDP for the Saints who gets like, a, I know he's like crazy and whatnot, but that dude gets like, some of his videos get over 100,000 views, or he, he at least gets 10,000 views. We need to get a Saints member in the CTC that can get attention and then be like, hey, and then share with somebody. You got to get some connections to the Saints or something. You know what I mean? So only, I, I mean, man, it's good as a home game. I just don't want to get embarrassed. Please don't, please do not let us get embarrassed on Sunday, on Thursday night football. It's just, yeah. So let's hope we get this win. Atlanta, you guys should be the favorites. You probably should win this game. I mean, what have we proven that that we can win win a game like this, man? We haven't proven a thing that we could come back and win some some game. You know, we've shown that we've shown. I, I'm not trying to overreact to last game, but we haven't shown that we can win these type of games, man. We've shown it once against the Cowboys against a depleted Cowboys team. But I still think we can win this. But we would have to bring our A game and actually play the ball. Had no turnovers, no penalties. Well, not no penalties. That's impossible. But we'll play a, um a, like a perfect game in order to in order to beat the Falcons. Even though we've had the success in the past, this isn't the same Saints team as the past. Let's be real. Let's stop living in like like imaginary land and LA land, La La Land. We gotta understand if we have any pride, we should at least contend in this game, if not win this game. Or if we lose, do not go out like we did against the Eagles, is what I'm saying. Play us some pride. I think we will because this is our biggest rival and we hate them. So hopefully you go out with some pride and somehow make the season, I want to say a season remember because I don't know how the heck we're going to do that. Unless we need to get like, I guess you could say this could be, I need a, I'm not going to be like, oh man, I thought the Cowboys was the, what we were going to turn around. Obviously that wasn't the case. So we would have to string a couple wins in a row to even get back in like decent being a decent team and then make a magical run but this is where it can start saying so let's not stop believing um uh, let's try to get this win on thursday night it's at our place who that i'll always be representing this team but you know we gotta respond to this adversity you know